so looking at demo two, and again, if you've got questions, if you're not too sure about something, please, it's not a big room, ask out. So what we have here is a situation where we've got a, a company, Poor Trading Co., they're purchasing air conditioning machines and those are denominated in US currency. On the 1st of May, the containers, the air conditioners are shipped on the 31st, which is quite lazy. It's a month, anyway. They finally pay on the 30th of July. So let's draw that up as a timeline. Okay, so they order it, it ships and they get title to it, financial year, they actually pay for it. Ignore the second paragraph, we'll do the hedging in a moment. So all that we're interested at this point are the spot rates. What we're interested in is the AUD USD spot rate. So at this point it's 103.52, Okay, so it's, oops, click the button. Okay, so it's gone from over parity in May to dropping substantially at the end of May to dropping again. So I mean, that's a 12 cent drop in the course of two months and it's come back slightly. So this is why we wanted you to have a look at foreign currency before you came today, and hopefully most of you did, but if you didn't, there are some videos and the lecture slides available online. So that's the AUD spot rates. On the 1st of May, there is no payable because you haven't actually done anything. All that you've done is order, um, you put the order in, so there is no transaction at that point. The transaction and when we can book the goods happens on the 31st of May. At that point, we have $100,000 US payable. We convert that to Australian using whatever the spot rate is at the time. So $100,000 US at 96.52 gives you 103. 100,000 at 91 gives you 109. 100,000 at 92 gives you 108. So that's just working through the spot rates. We are interested in the change and the change so from 31st of May to the 30th of June, the amount that we pay in Aussie goes up by close to $6,000. We don't pay any more in terms of US, but that US amount is actually increased, that Australian dollar version is increased by 6,000. Then the payable in terms of Australian comes down by just over 1,200 because the Aussie dollar has got stronger. Okay, ignore the rest of that page. Okay, and just look at this side of things. Okay, so the underlying position. First of May, nothing happens because it's just the order. When we book the inventory or the, well, I've called it inventory, it should be air conditioners, but when we book the asset, debit, inventory, 103.605, credit accounts payable, 103.605, so that's using the spot rate at that day. This account payable then increases by 5,888 and we pick up a loss for it. We then roll forward to the 30th of July when we actually pay it off. The account payable declines because the Australian dollar has got stronger. We now have a foreign currency gain and ultimately we pay out $108,000 to the supplier. So that's the underlying position. That is what the foreign currency section was looking at um, the week that we missed, but that's the content that we would have done. So we should hopefully be clear on that. We now have to look at what the hedging position is. <coughs> 